ATTR amyloidosis is caused by the misfolding of a protein called transthyretin, or TTR, which aggregates and deposits as amyloid in various tissues and organs. TTR is mostly made in the liver. Once released into the bloodstream, its role is to transport vitamin A and the hormone thyroxine around the body. In order to do so, four individual TTR proteins must be attached to each other to form a four-unit complex before it can carry vitamin A or thyroxine. In ATTR amyloidosis, the four-unit complex is made up in the normal way, but is unstable and prone to breaking up. In some cases, this is a result of inheriting a mutation in the TTR gene, which gives rise to TTR proteins that don't fit well together. This is known as hereditary ATTR amyloidosis. In other cases, the individual TTR proteins become altered as we age. But what causes this to happen isn't known. This type is generally referred to as wild-type ATTR amyloidosis. Once apart, the TTR proteins have a tendency to misfold and aggregate to form fibrils, which deposit as amyloid. TTR amyloid deposits are most commonly found in the heart, where they cause cardiomyopathy, and in the nervous system, where they cause neuropathy. Deposits can also be found in the digestive system and kidneys. As the amyloid builds up, it starts to disrupt the function of affected organs and cause symptoms. Treatment is aimed at reducing TTR production or at stabilizing the four-unit complex. Until recently, a liver transplant was the only way to stop TTR being made, but novel treatments including gene silencing technology are being used as another way of stopping the body from producing TTR. Drugs which stabilize the four-unit complex are also being used as a way of reducing the chances of TTR misfolding and forming amyloid. The hope is that gene silencing and stabilizing treatments can reduce amyloid formation, help existing deposits break down naturally, and in doing so, restore organ function and improve quality of life for patients.